good people. Welcome back to our station. Um, I'm coming with you, coming to you with a grocery haul. Oh Not a very God. big one because these prices, oof. And then I'm also going to be cooking. I'm going to be making um, stuffed shells tonight. So I don't think I've made that, um, recorded me making that yet. So this would be good. I'm running out of stuff to cook. I need some suggestions, y'all. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead with the haul. Okay, here we have bacon. And give me one minute. Let me see um, what my total was. Give me one second. Okay, guys. The total amount on this order is 126 and some change. So we just round to 127. Yeah. All right, so here we have our bacon. One day this week, I'm going to be making um, Philly steak subs. So I got this. I think I forgot to get the cheese for that. It's okay. Um, because I'm going to be making stuffed shells, I need cheese. And then our ricotta cheese. We put ricotta cheese in it. <laughs> I'm also going to mix this with the uh, ground beef because I'm going to have meat with our stuffed shell. Yeah. Yeah. We're just not going to have cheese and sauce. I look so crazy. Okay, Nita. I am looking straight. You said if I look to the left, I will always be looking in the camera. This is me looking to the left. Now, I'm not looking at the screen. So, Nita, you tell me this is just for Nita. Don't nobody else answer. You tell me if it looks like I'm looking straight. Because I'm looking to the... I think you said the left. I'm going to do both sides just in case I'm confused. So, this is me looking to the left, Nita. My left. So, I'm going to add some uh, zesty, hot... Uh, Bob Evans sausage. Okay, Nita, now I'm going to look to the right. This, I'm going to use this cheese, the queso, quesadilla cheese um, for, uh, what am I using this for? Oh, I'm going to be doing tacos too. So we're going to have tacos one of these days. So yeah, that's what this is for. And just cheese in general. I love cheese. It, my stomach doesn't like it, but I like it. Okay. One tomato. I got three jars of the Prego. I got the roasted garlic and herb, fresh mushroom, and tomato, basil, garlic. Got some more of my shrimp. Guys, I eat these for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Something small. Like I said, I had weight loss surgery probably, I don't know how long. I want to say 11, 12 years ago. I gained most of the weight back. And then I started losing recently. So, even though I'm as big, I, I don't care. <laughs> say what it is. Uh, I've gained some pounds. So, now I'm on the scale. I'm at 155, which is fine compared to where I started off with. When I first had weight loss surgery, I think I was too old. Five. And it doesn't look good on me because I'm only 4'11". <laughs> so, um, even though I had the surgery, I've gained most of the weight back. And I'm just like maintaining now. My stomach is still this. It's like I had the gastric sleep. So, my stomach is this small. And I can only eat small amounts of food. I mean, I can eat like if I fixed a regular plate like a regular person would. I could eat that plate, but it probably will take me about three or four hours to eat it. So that's the downfall. Now, would I, would I ever do it again? No, absolutely not. Am I against anybody doing it? Absolutely not. The thing is, is that it's a mental thing. You have to do the work. I didn't do the work. I didn't do the work at all. Um, and then plus, it's a mental thing. If you have an addiction to food or uh you use food to cope with um you might want to rethink 
getting weight loss surgery. But I've seen people who've done the weight loss surgery and they're wonderful. Um, because of the weight loss surgery, because your stomach is so small, you don't absorb a lot of the vitamins and so forth. So you will find yourself taking a lot of supplements. Um, I know some people who get really sick. Um, it's just it's just something you really need to look into and you really need to uh, talk to people who, you know, who had it, who's had weight loss surgery. Um, and just see, everybody's experience is gonna be different. Everybody, I have a sister who had it years ago and she is like, she's maintained, not maintained her weight, but she, she hasn't gained any of that weight back. And she, I think she told me she was a size, in size 22 when she started. I'm not sure. But, you know, she was able to keep all of that weight off. And, um, but there is complications that come with it. Um, I know a couple of people, there's complications. So if it's something that you're interested in doing, do your research first. Talk to people who have had it, people that you know, you know, possibly have had it. Um, there was a group that I had joined. Um, I did that um, just to, you know, prepare me for what was going to go on um, after the surgery. But like I said, everybody is different. I have no idea why I am going on a rant like this when I'm supposed to be doing a, a grocery haul. But, sorry. All right, so I got some salsa. <laughs> I also, oh, I hope you guys can hear me too. I don't have my earpiece in, but I brought a couple of cans of um, tuna fish. My husband loves my tuna fish, so I'll be making him tuna fish um, this week. I had ran out of my dressing. This is one of my favorites. I mean, I do have my avocado uh, cilantro one. That one is good too, but it's a lot of different dressings that I like, but I, I do like the Catalina. Baking soda. Not mint, or I mean, I guess you could, but it doesn't have like the vents on them, like for the ones for freezer and refrigerator. Because remember the last time I made beans, I was too scared to put it in there. So I remembered to get me some this time. You always just need some of this. I'm going to be making a couple of soups too, so this is going to come in handy for my soups. Um, I have peas and carrots because I'm going to be making my fried rice. My family loves my fried rice, but fried rice is just like making dressing. It's a labor of love because it's so much that goes into it. Um, I just recently, and I didn't record it um, because the kids were here. I had my son and my daughter and the grandkids. We were all here and Kyla. They were, yeah, my was here too. So I made dressing this past week. This, you guys probably won't get this video. It'll probably be two weeks from now that you'll get it. Um, this is the week of uh, Thanksgiving. Today is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. So this is the Thanksgiving week. It's, it's Thursday. Um, but last week I had my kids home. So I just made, um, I made my dressing and turkey and everything. Well, I didn't make turkey. We did turkey wings because nobody eats turkey like that. And um, when I tell you these little people tore that food up, they tore that food up. So for Thanksgiving, I will be, I don't know why this looks off, I will be at home chilling in my bed or on my couch. I'm not cooking anything. I'm not doing nothing. I think the kids are going somewhere uh, for Thanksgiving, which is fine by me. I'll be right here. <laughs> well, actually, I did have plans last week to go visit my sisters. Um, we were going to do our Thanksgiving together. Um, but as you know, Buffalo, New York got slammed with the snowstorm. So that canceled the plans because I wouldn't have been able to get in. They had closed all the major roads to get home. So I was stuck here. 
Why do I keep talking about stuff and I'm doing a grocery haul? I'm so sorry, y'all. Okay. Because if that was me watching, I would be like, would you please just get on with the grocery haul? Better. Um, I think I showed these. I got two bags of these. They only had two. I asked for four. I have some more peppers. And I have three packs of ground beef here. I got the wrong shells. I want the large ones, not the medium ones. So I have to um, see if I can get my son to bring me some. <laughs> um, I got some more salad. I've been in the mood for salad. So I got baby uh, arugula. And romaine heart. So I'll mix them both together. Um, I got some rolls for our um, our steak open. We'll cross over, guys. I got two sodas. I have the Fago, a root beer. To make sure I didn't say diet, my husband would have a fit. And um, Red Pop is in the refrigerator, and I must have clicked on a small one too. I don't know, but yeah, so we got that. Um, I think I did mention in one of the videos before you know, I usually buy my Milo's, the sweet tea mixed with the lemonade, my favorite. Um, and the last time I got it from Myers, it didn't taste right. I had, got, had two of them, and it tastes like it had an aftertaste to them, like it was dying. Maybe it was mislabeled at the factory. I don't know. So then I went to um, Walmart, and I got one at Walmart, and that one was fine. So I didn't pick it up this time around, but... I'm going to give Myers another chance and just see. If not, I may have to find a new drink, which that normally happens to me. It really does. When I find something that I like and I start buying it and then I can't find it anymore, it never fails. <laughs> okay, guys. And when I talk about, you know, finding stuff that I like and then they don't have it anymore, um, I don't know if I did a grocery haul on this. Um, believe it or not, I don't record all of my <laughs> all of my grocery hauls. It just depends on what kind of mood I'm in. If I don't feel like, if I'm not in the mood, I'm not going to do it. Because I really don't like to come in on camera with low energy or, um, you know, something's really going on. Because I think that it may transfer to you guys. I don't know. I just don't like doing it. But I'm not one of those anime people like, ah, if you're the, I'm not that person. I'm a little silly, not silly, but that's about it. But anyway, back to this. You can tell I haven't recorded in days because I am just jab, 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 jabbing <laughs> because I haven't been here um, on this. But this or uh, Orchard Peach one that I had got from, I got one from Myers one time and I brought it home and I put it in the refrigerator and it was so good. So I was like, uh, the next day I told my daughter, I was like, those were so good. I sent the kids. I said, y'all go to the store and y'all get me. I think I had them get me like 11 or 12 of them. I'm not sure. Or maybe I did do. If I did a video and this was included, disregard this whole part of the video. But this here is delicious. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, I tried the, I think it was raspberry. I think I had a raspberry one. It was okay, but I, this was so much better. Matter of fact, I'm put this in the refrigerator for my lunch. So, yeah. Well, all right, guys. That is it for my grocery haul. Um, because I talked so much during this, I think I probably have about 10 minutes recorded so far. If I do have 10 minutes recorded, this will be just a grocery haul. Oh, and I forgot to put... I got more onions too, but um, this may be just a grocery haul. 
um, if it's that long, and then I'll come back, I'll go and I'll have lunch, and then I'll come back and we'll go ahead and we will cook the, uh, or make the stuffed shells. So, I'll be right back. Oh, because I think I am gonna end it here. Thank you guys once again so much for, um, thanks for you guys who keep coming back. I truly do appreciate that. Um, thank you for watching the video. I appreciate that. Um, thank you for those that are leaving thumbs up. Thank you for those that are commenting and thank you to those who have subscribed. I think I shouted out all of the subscribers that I know of. There's people who subscribe that I, I don't know, but the ones that I did, but I don't want to leave anyone out. So if I did not say a personal thank you to me, leave a comment down in the, um, in the comment section and I'm gonna do something extra special because I forgot a person or persons. I'm gonna do something extra special for you guys. So with that being said, thanks again. Um, I hope you guys are having a great day so far. If not, it's not too late to turn it around. All right, guys, thank you so much. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.